It is the big day that we've all been waiting for. These are the new reward packs, guys. I've saved up by playing loads of foot draft, loads of SBCs, got some 100k packs near as well. This is going to be a fun video. I'm hoping for like one walkout, honestly. That is the stage about right now with FIFA packs. I just, I packed on Ronaldo and then I just keep not getting walkouts. So hopefully today that changes. I've, I said, I say 50 on the thumbnail on the title, but it's, it's going to be 61. So without further ado, let's begin. 61 reward packs. Such a specific number, I know, but still 15k a pack. Also, I could do with the coins and then the first pack is a very good start here. We do get a board. Kepa, damn, not bad. Kepa, the keeper from Chelsea, not bad. Also, been seeing a lot of people online. Oh, Lingard, about saying about like gameplay and film. Oh, he's so cheap on the market. Damn, that's a surprising thing to see. Like, I've been very surprised to see so many people not liking gameplay. It's just weird for me when I'm 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 a person who's really enjoying gameplay, and even if. I've got like the best team on FIFA. If even if I've got a non-rare team, I would still enjoy it as much. And it's gotta be said, man, I'm really enjoying it. But for those of you who are not enjoying it, why is that? I'd be very intrigued to see why. Let me know, let me know down in the comments, guys, your thoughts on current FIFA 19 gameplay. I'm really enjoying it though. I like passing, I like the um I, yes, it's a bit too probably overpowered, but right now, I'm very much enjoying the finesse shots and the time finishing I'm loving. I guess it takes a bit of getting used to, but I'm enjoying it, man. Like, I've got to be honest, I'm really enjoying it. Anyway, third pack in, and we do get some boards. Going to hire it up on my end. English goalkeeper, Jordan Pickford, 83 overall. Not bad. We get Jordan Pickford, then some other random players there. But yeah, like, honestly, I'm, I'm enjoying it for the reason that time finishing, I finally got used to it. I'm liking the speed of the gameplay. Mostly, it's been very fast for me. I have had some issue though with lag in for champions, where the game would like not even load the proper camera angle. You'd be behind the goal. That's happened. There are definitely some gameplay things I would adjust. I would increase manual defending ability, as it should be better than AI defending. We can still rely on AI defending right now, so that needs to be addressed. There's a lot going on though with gameplay, so I think. Give it like a month and I reckon it'll be a lot different to right now. Generally think there's probably going to be another update in like the next month or so. Anyway, got a good feeling about this pack. Still got a good feeling. Or not. It's French. Centre back. We'll skip it. Yeah, though, like I really am enjoying it. And for me, I guess once you get used to time finishing, guys, it becomes a different game. It really does in a lot of ways. There's so oh walk out, hold on, who's this? 15k pack, Kalor Navas. Damn, that's superb. Goalkeeper Real Madrid, guys. We get our first walkout of the video. I'm happy. We get walkout. Navas, 87 rated. What a pack. Out of nowhere. How much is he on the market right now? He, you know what? He must be quite a lot. I'd say four. 60,000 coins, man. Jesus Christ, look at the profit of that. I'll go for like 55k. Why is it taking ages? Why is it glitching? There you go. I'll go for 55k in the market. I think I'll probably go for that. 55k, man, that's great profit. Superb. I'm going to actually discard them so I can get the uh, coins. Anyway, that is good coinage right there. Another 15k pack next, guys. We've just got to walk out. And the next one is a board. In form, here we go. English striker. That's uh, Jud, what's his name? Jud Kowitz. That guy. 80 physical. Got a very similar card to like Danny Williams. So, yeah, not the best card, but to be honest, he may sell due to the new icon SBC for like 15k ish, maybe. I think he will sell. You know what? I'll sell him on the market for like that. I'll go for that. 14.7k. Done. Done. Cool. Next one. But back to gameplay, though. A lot of you guys have been talking about it and like checking Twitter, Reddit, in general, FIFA forums as well. People are either loving it or not liking it at all. I'm not going to say hating it. I think for the, a lot of the people that are not enjoying the gameplay right now, 
a lot of them aren't used to the game yet. You've got to think, like, it's literally about... It's only been out two weeks. People are still not used to this game yet, but I think a lot of their issues are warranted. Like, the auto-lunge is still a thing in FIFA 19. That needs to be taken out and addressed. That is Marquinhos. He's going for 8K. So, there's still a lot that needs to be fixed. Shooting, like, they did fix the issue about lay shots, which was a big thing to fix. That's actually really improved the gameplay for me now that they fixed that. But, um, yeah, there's, like, there's a lot to talk about with gameplay. I feel like it's the most fun I've had on a FIFA, though, since FIFA 17, where I really love FIFA 17 gameplay. Like, oh, here we go. Another walkout. 15K pack. Who are we going to get? What nation? Brazilian? Goalkeeper? Edison. These packs are fantastic. 86 walkout. Super, man. Walking out like he's a boss right there. 86 rated player. Let's go. I think he's with 30k. Exactly 30k. Have you ever seen a better prediction on YouTube for a player's price? I challenge you to find one. I'm going to go for 29k. Again, I want the coins right now, to be honest. Get some more coins for the Icon SPCs. Final 15k pack. These have been very good. Very impressed with these. Come on. No walkout or board. Yeah, look, like, FIFA 17 was a very arcadey, fast-paced FIFA, and this FIFA is fast-paced for me. Like, it's weird. A lot of people are saying it's slower, but I feel it's faster. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of the speed of passing, and maybe, I don't know. I'm also getting used to dribbling again. I never forget, from FIFA 4, no, FIFA 17, for the whole year, I said, I'm going to make a tutorial on... I'm going to keep them... I'm going to make a tutorial on LTRT dribbling, precision dribbling. I never made it. It became like a running joke. I don't know why. Never made it. Honestly, it wouldn't have taken like that long. But yeah, like this year it is back. People aren't using it as much as they thought they would. I scored a crazy goal with Mbappe last night where he just took on about five defenders with LTRT dribbling. And he was such um, a great card to stop. Like he, they didn't stop him. He scored the goal. He was incredible. Mbappe, by the way. What a player. Next pack, though. Back on to the topic of packs. And we do get a board. Belgian, that's a good sign. Vince Company. Cool. You know what? I actually... I'll see how much he's going for. There's a big temptation here to keep his card. He's probably 22k. Yeah, he's expensive. I'm going to get rid of him for that done. He'll probably go for that right away. Right away. I'm going to quick sell these cards. In terms of packs, though, I'll be honest with you guys, my pack luck has not been the best recently. Although today's video has gone off to a good start. But, like, the issue about pack probability... Oh, in form. is fascinating. I really... Oh, Josh King! There we go. Come on. Born with Josh King in form. I had this conversation with a mate in town saying Liverpool. I was like, he was saying about how EA have got to be really careful now because they could get into big trouble with pack weight and just packs in general. And it goes through, man. Like, the fact that EA have had to put pack probability in FIFA shows that it became a very big issue. Like, it must be. The amount that EA make every year off FIFA packs on FIFA points is insane. So to see them actually put in the probability for me is a big thing. And I wouldn't be surprised if in a few years we see more of the things that go on in Belgium, in Holland, where they actually, I think, banned a lot of FIFA packs or something like that. They had to, no, they had to, they had to disclose, like, FIFA pack weight or something like that. And it could be, I don't know, we could see bigger things than that happen in the future. Anyway, next pack. Is there a board? Not one board. Jesus. Come on, yay. I, it's, it's strange, like, it's it's always weird to me when I'm seeing a lot of people not liking a game, but I'm loving it. Battlefield Hardline was that game for me. Seriously, Battlefield Hardline, I became really good at ba Battlefield, Battlefield Hardline. How many times can I say Battlefield Hardline in one take? Anyway, I got like a 2.7 KD in that game. I loved it. For some reason, I was really good at Battlefield Hardline. I don't know what it was. And I think because of my Call of Duty, like, past, it was a very fast-paced, close-proximity shooter. And I became really good at it. But a lot of people in that EA community for Battlefield detested that game. They absolutely hated it. 
But I loved it. And it's strange seeing the diversity in opinions, like how I can just hate a game and maybe you can love a game. I didn't like, for example, FIFA, which one? FIFA 18. I wasn't a big fan at all of gameplay. Oh, walk out. A lot of people didn't like it. Anyway, here we go. Who's going to be? Come on. Italian, good sign. Centre mid. Verratti. He is a really hard player to snipe. He is going to sell straight away. I'm actually going to sell every single player, guys, I get in these as I want to see how much we make. His price range has gone up as well. Interesting, okay. Let's make him that much. I think we'll probably go for that right now. We also got Socrates. So, again, his price range has gone up to like 14k. I'll sell him for that. I think we'll probably go for that. Discard the rest. But it's true that like, I absolutely loved that Battlefield game. Whereas in the Battlefield community themselves, they did not like it at all. And I found it really fascinating how I loved it and I got very good at it. But just people hated it. And I guess the same thing can be said for FIFA 18. For me, I did not like that gameplay at all. That's why I just didn't do any zero to hero on that, on that FIFA at all. But um, yeah, 40 packs to go. We've had about four walkouts, guys. So this has been a very good start. We don't get a walkout here. Going to skip this one. There's only going to be one rare in this player, in this pack. I'll keep them. Why not? Cool. 312 coins. So which packs we got next? Rare gold pack. They're all rare. We could get a walkout. Or we could still get an inform. Or not. We get a gold card. And I don't know where this guy is from. Which country is that? Oh, that's uh, Senegal, yeah. I will discard that. Some of my best packs ever in FIFA have been in a rare gold pack. That may surprise you. Considering the description, that may surprise you. Look at all these packs, by the way. I've had a really good run in foot draft. I want to keep it going. I've really, really improved the FIFA this week. I've knuckled down, played a lot more, practiced more. And to be fair, I've seen the rewards in that. I've. It's weird. Rivals is unpredictable. I had a great foot champions week, guys. I got 25 and 5. My best one, obviously, so far. And I had some incredibly tough games and games where I, which I won. Really, really difficult games, and I won them in four champs. I go in rivals, play two players who were probably the two worst players to play a weekend, and it's not like a dig of them, just they weren't as good as players in four champs. And I just lost to both. It's weird how that happens, isn't it? Then I play a guy who's really good after those two and win, and it's just, it's so hard to predict. Anyway, with um, draft being said, there is my history right now. I started off with like eight and seven. Sorry, no, eight and six, I think it was. Now we've, um, yeah, we've won it four times in a row, well, won four in a row twice, sorry, four times, um, and I've really improved at it, so I really want to keep doing well in draft, I'm liking it a lot, just the rewards suck, they really do, how can I get a rare goal pack, or just a goal pack from winning the draft, like two of them, that to me makes no sense, anyway, next pack, let's see what we get here, come on EA, my god, Spanish, just, just, just that? That is terrible. I've seen also a lot of people saying that the new Icon SPCs aren't worth it. Oh, we just got 15k pack. That's awesome. That's the first time I've done that. That is the first time I've done that this FIFA. We get a 15k pack, guys, for free. And also the Barca kit, which I need to get in real life. That's such a nice kit. I've seen a lot of people saying that the Icon SPC is not worth it. And I see what they mean. Like, the Prime Icons, guys, are like, what, maybe 600k and the Prime Icon SPCs more? I get that there's rewards and stuff, but still, it doesn't really make too much sense to me. We get Jonas, though, 84 rated Jonas in a pack. I think I've got him. I have got him. Going to discard that. Don't know why I just discarded Jonas. Anyway, today's been a bit of a mad day. Like, I didn't expect it, but I met Rafa Benitez this morning. Um, lovely guy. And after I met him, he came over and had a proper, like, in-depth chat about what I do for, like, YouTube videos how FIFA translate to football. Honestly, he was such a lovely guy, but also so interesting. We spoke at length about tactics and football, counter-attacks, that is Walker. This is for you, Rafa. Come on, Rafa. Italian. Left wing. Insignia. One of Rafa's former players at Napoli. Anyway, thank you, Rafa Benitez, for that pack look. But honestly, really interesting guy. 
And I'm going to do a few, videos, a few videos with him as well, hopefully in the future. So do let me know, guys, in the comments which kind of videos you want to see. I'm guessing you'd want to see, like, Rafa's ultimate team, where he picks his ultimate, like, 11 aside team or 5 aside team. Insignia is fantastic, man. Let me know about that one. He'll go on the market for that. I think he'll sell for that. But he was really interesting. And honestly, like, I've never seen a manager properly listen. He really listened. Like, it was kind of, I don't know, not surprising, but just he was so invested in what I was saying about YouTube. And, like, he was really interested. So he was a really nice guy, man. Really um, cool to meet him. And he gave me his, uh, his book with a signed copy, which is awesome. And I'm going to keep, you know, I'll keep this one. Why not? But yeah, it was cool to meet him, man. Kind of surreal at first. Like, wow, this is the guy who I really had a lot of respect for growing up. It was cool, man. Anyway, next pack. Is there a walkout? There is not a walkout. Oh, God. I've always said it, though. I like doing these videos in one take, as it feels like a bit of a podcast going on. It's kind of cool, man. You can just chill, play FIFA, have it on in the background, all that good stuff. Yao Cancelo is that expensive. My God. Thank you, Ronaldo, for his price increase. <laughs> The only reason, well, I say the only reason, but I don't know. Um, Canter CM, is he, is that 4K? There was a time when that was like at least 4,000 coins back in FIFA 14. It's bizarre looking back, man. It's FIFA 19. Has that sunken in yet for you guys? Because it hasn't for me. It really has not. You know what? I'm going to open all of these. I've got loads of these packs to open. Premium mixed players pack. I have no idea what we're going to get. I'm going to skip these though, unless I see the grey EA logo. Let's have a look. We get those. Danny Rose though may sell. Does he sell for anything on the market? Uh, I list him. Cool. Let's go for that one. But yeah, any ideas by the way? If you want to see me do a video with Rafa, let me know. I think his ultimate team would be pretty cool. Considering the players that he's managed in the past, Ronaldo, Gerard, Torres, uh, was was Bale at Real Madrid when he was there? I think he was, wasn't he? I think he was. I think he managed, obviously, Lampard, Terry back in the day. Like, he has had the who's who of football. So it would be very interesting to see what you guys think about that kind of video. Going to discard that. I'll leave the best packs until last. But back onto gameplay, though. For me, for champion... Oh, we got a 15k pack there. Did not see that. 15k pack. No walkout. Like, for champions gameplay, though has been very interesting for me. I always get, at the start of the weekend league, I'm not going to lie, we all get it. We get a bit of a nerve-wracking feeling. But as soon as you get into the game, you can then relax a bit. Staying calm is the most important thing, guys. And it's just, you have to be calm. Never get angry. I've even done it this FIFA when I've been angry, and it never helps. Be calm. And it's the best thing to do. It really is. Even if I go go down, I keep calm and just get back in the game as best as I can. I won a game this weekend when I was 4-0 down and I somehow managed to win 5-4. And it showed, man, it's all in your head. You know you can play better than you're currently playing. First half, 4-0 down, played terribly, so bad. Second half, made a few changes. Said, you know what, screw it, let's just get back in the game, get a goal, see what happens. Oh, Zaka, what the hell? That came out of nowhere. What the hell? Um, he's 7k, I'll take it. To be fair, some of these bronze players may sell. 27 pace. Bro, you're so slowing in the game. You know, it'd be a good idea. Like, honestly, if any footy players are watching this video and you've got a card you're not happy with, I just thought about it then. Wouldn't it be cool to, like, test some of these stats that EA give players? That guy's got 27 pace. I want to see if he's got 27 pace in real life, if that equates to it. That would be very interesting. Anyway, next pack. Who do we get? Just loads of random cards. Surprised to get Zacco though. It is true though, like with the champions, it really is so much mentally. It's tough. It really is tough. 30 games is still a lot of games. 40 though, man. How the hell did we all do 40 games in the weekend league in previous years? Looking back, honestly, man, I would come back from like going to the Liverpool game and having to play like a good 15, 20 games after it on one night. How I did that, I do not know. But now, I manage it a lot better. I don't really play that many games on a Friday. For me, I'll play like maybe five, maybe 10 on Friday, then maybe five on the Saturday, then 10 on Sunday. Well, 15 on Sunday. 
I really don't mind playing loads in one day. I can do it. But you've got to even even in that mindset, like it's weird. For example, when I'm playing for champs, guys, and it gets just obviously it's it's intent. It's quite it's end to end. It's crazy. So always have a break after like for me every maybe three games, and then always have a drink at the ready. Always just be ready to have a little bit of a walk outside, things like that. Take the dogs out for a walk. Just have a break every now and then. It does help refresh everything. Otherwise, you do the same things over and over again. And that is obviously the sign of insanity. Come on. Who do you get in this one, though? Theo Walcott. My God. Zayech, 1.3k. Next one. Let's go. Let's go for small Prime Electrum players pack. I've not got much hopes for these. But we'll see. Also, bit of a weird one, but like, I used to get this a lot when playing like competitive tennis, played for Lancashire growing up. And when you play county level tennis, guys, my God, it's intense. But after every set, I would need a huge toilet break. And the same thing comes in for FIFA. Seriously, after like three or four games, you just need the toilet more. I'm not even drinking much, and you just need it more. Maybe it's the pressure. And like, not, there's no pressure, but it, it's. It's intense. It's it's even for rivals, man. It can get intense. But I think you guys know what I mean. Like, you genuinely would need the toilet more after playing like ten foot champs games than not playing them. I think it's because of the competitive aspect. To be honest. Anyway, back onto FIFA packs. Let's see what we get here. We get no one exciting. Oh god. Come on, EA. Um, I'll keep those cards for now. That's fine. I've got a bad feeling, guys. Like, and one day. I'm just going to, by accident, going to get rid of a really good player in an SBC or something crazy. Going to skip this one. I've got a bad feeling. It could be an icon. It could be... It could be someone who's like amazing, like Inform Mbappe. It could be a great monthly card. I just don't want to do that. I've never done it before. I've got rid of good players in SBCs, obviously, before, but not on, like, not by accident. I don't know. You never know. Also, a big tip for you guys, and I think a lot of you may do this, because if I do this, there's a good chance that you may do this as well in FIFA. In for champions, when you see a guy with a good team, when you see the squad screen come up, don't automatically think, oh, this is going to be a tough game. Just go into it with a positive mindset. Be positive. That's how I'm doing quite well now in for champs. I want to keep that streak up, keep it going the whole year, keep improving. And the way you do that, Viviana... Yeah, is by just being positive. Don't see a crazy team and think, oh, this guy must be a pro player. Just think of it like this. Think, oh, this guy's probably just got FIFA. He's just spent loads of points, hasn't even played much. He's got a crazy team. Just think of any way you can to be positive, and it really helps a lot. Seriously, so much. It's improved my game tenfold. It really has. Just having that mindset of wanting to be positive and just also... Being calm, man. I've seen it in the past when I've thrown my control, I've broke my door, kicked my bin on the stream before. That really hurt, by the way. Um, oh, walk out. Come on. Come on, EA. This could be good. Spanish. Centre mid. Iniesta. I'll take it, man. 87. Iniesta. Back to what I was saying, though. If I can see the goal now, I will literally, like, oh, Felipe Luis as well. What a pack. I will go and I'll just smile at the screen. It looks kind of weird, but still, it's it it helps. I mean, it sounds really weird, me just smiling like this. It's really weird, but it does help. And I know it's so weird. But let me know, guys, in the comments. Do you do anything like that to keep yourself in a positive mindset in for champions? How do you keep positive? How do you keep calm? I can't be the only weird guy doing that kind of thing on, on when I can see the goal. I really can't be. <laughs> Just smiling at the camera. Oh, God. Anyway, it helps. You've got to be positive. Okay, next one. Can we get a walkout? We got any Aster in the last one? Nope. I'll let this one open. Come on. You've got to do, though, what works for you, right? Like you do. Like, I remember playing a lot of Call of Duty back in the day on MLG. Was it? Was it? No, Game Battles. MLG I did as well. I also used to play... This is going really old school. One of my favorite games ever was Resistance Fall of Man. My god, I was honestly so good at that game. I had like a 4KD, maybe 3 or 4KD. I used to regularly just like quick scope people out of nowhere with that game. I love that game. You would pick like a human or alien side 
and then if you were the alien side, if you pressed the L2 button, then you would become like in a rage mode where your shots would be really accurate. And honestly, that game was amazing. But back to my point, like that was a very competitive game thing back in the day. I can't remember what it was like. A it was like PlayStation 3.net was the website, and it was competitive. And I loved it, man. But back then, I'm much better at games now than it was back then. Looking back, like. I wasn't that... I was good at, for the time, but I'm a lot just better at games now. I just wasn't very good back then, looking back. Anyway, let's see. Electrum Players Pack. There's a one rare item. There could be a walkout. No, there's not going to be. Maybe the next one. Thank you, whoever that guy is, for inviting me to that game. Um, Hendo. No one else. It's weird, though. Like That game would still be as fun for me right now. Whereas if I went back and played James Bond Nightfire... It probably won't be as fun. It'd still be fun, but like Resistance for a Man, what a game! What a game! I wanna like go and watch some videos of that game. Resistance Two was good. Resistance Three was good, but Fallen Man guys for me was the best they did. Such a good game. I, I really wish they brought like a, I don't know, like an emulator out or you could play it on your PS4. We do get a gold Argentina striker, but not gonna be someone we really want. Anyway, let's go for this one. Also, let me know, like, do you watch these kind of videos, guys, when you're playing FIFA? Why you're traveling on the bus or whatever? Let me know. Let me know, man. If you're in a bus right now, say hi to the bus driver. Why not? Let's see what we get, though. In this one, no board. I think. Was that Klein? Or is Klein non-rare? I think he's non-rare. Oh, no, it wasn't Klein. It was Brian. <laughs> what a... I, I don't know. Some surnames do crack me up. Brian. Anyway, next one, rare mega pack. No, you know what? I'm going to go for... These are big packs now. Okay, these could be big. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. This is not a walkout. Not a board. Jesus Christ. I'm going to predict we get two walkouts, guys, from these final, like, eight or nine packs. I don't really get anyone special there. I'm going to quick sell them for 5.3k. Oh, cool. We do get a lone pack. How unbelievably unexciting that is. Premium loan player pack. I just... They're good for Road to Glories, but I just don't keep loan players anymore. I had like 15 pages of loan players. I think it was last year. So, yeah. I do not want more. Mega pack. Here we go. No walkout. If there's a board, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. What? Portuguese? Cam? Who is that? Bruno Fernandes, not the worst. I think I may keep him. You know what? I'll keep those guys. Glick, I don't think he's selling, so I'll just quick sell them right now. Okay, so we have a few more mega packs. If I get a walkout with any of these, this is a bonus. We don't, but will they be in form? Boards. Creation. Mandzukic, 85? He should be 85. He's fantastic in real life. 84. I'll go with that for Mandzukic. Um, you know what? He's not that expensive. I'll keep him for SBCs. Quick sell the rest. 3,000 coins. Okay, mega pack. Final mega pack. Then we get on to the big packs. Will there be someone good here? Let's go, EA. In form. Argentine. Who is this? Martinez in form. The good thing about this now, guys, is that right now it is... What day is it? I've honestly lost track of days. Monday. Oh, play pick pack. Love that. Love that a lot. It's Monday. And the SBC is out. Let's go and claim the item. Who are we going to get? I love this. You know what? I like Antonio, but... I'll go Antonio. Why not? We have Antonio. I really want to get like an 85 rated pick pack. That would be amazing. I love that they're tradable. Like, EA have listened to us a lot more this year. Um, he'll sell for a bit. I think he'll go for, like, that. Cool. I'll keep the rest. Cool. Quick sell them. Brilliant. Final four packs. Rare Mega Pack is the first one. I think this is a 55k pack, and it's not a walkout. My God. And it's not even a board. That is horrific. The next three packs have got to give us something decent to make up for that. That is so bad. 
that's actually good kind of you know base pack you know what i mean it's got potential but then to give me that it's such a tragic pack a quick sell that for 3.2k okay time for the big three will there be a walkout let's have a look come on there isn't in the first one. Oh god at least we get a board portuguese cdm uh, pereira is that pereira i think it is that's not good though i'll keep him yeah guys i need better than this come on i want one walkout that's all i want all i want ea is one more one more walkout oh my god rare players pack guys and we don't get a walkout it's a board again spanish center mid uh fabregas 84 just not great there was a card though similar to fabregas i want to tell you guys about Verratti's very good in this fifa may surprise you that but yeah very very good in this uh, this game it's not fast but he feels fast it's weird final pack of the video leave a like for more of these and we don't get a walkout 100k pack what ea oh my god fine oh belgium that could be good center back we get company and the very final pack guys 85 rated company hopefully you guys enjoyed this i want to go and now do another 50 honestly that is crazy how we didn't get better ones cool we get coman i'll probably keep this one and we do get two 84s which is you know what we do actually get a few who could be good for spcs actually anyway i'm going to quick sell them right now to get some coins 6.2k in the bank as well hopefully you guys enjoyed this pack opening subscribe for more and i need better pack look but you know we did a uh, out of 10 i'll give that like a five or six i want to get better packs so for sure anyway hope you guys have a great time and i'll see you guys later